It's no problem for Percy. Bill and Ben arrived at the yards. The twins were sent to work in the yard while the clay pits were closed for the winter. Mail coming through! Watch this, Ben. <gasps> Bouncing buffers! Oh, Bill! What do you think you're doing? Having fun? That wasn't funny. I nearly blew my safety valve. Percy's been put upon, put upon, put upon. Percy's been put upon, poor old Percy. <laughs> I am now. Percy shunted his mail cars and puffed to tin with sheds. What's up, Percy? I'm put upon. Put upon? What's that? It means he feels like he's been taken advantage of. Oh my. Yes, Bill and Ben think it's funny to jump out from behind cars and scare me. Well, it is a little funny. Not helping, Bear. Oh, uh, sorry. Anyway, what are Bill and Ben doing in the yard? They shut in the yard when the clay pits are closed for the winter. Oh, where does Timothy go? Timothy helps out at the docks. That's better than being stuck in a shed. I didn't think you cared about being in the shed. Not really, but I like coming out every once in a while. Uh, oh, God, I should be going anyways. The tracks need clearing. Percy puffed back into the yard to collect the mail train. He was in a better mood now. Oh, what's that? Then, Percy had a cheeky idea. It's the abominable snowplow. Ab -ab abominable snowplow. He roams the rails during the night looking for engines who aren't doing their jobs properly. Well, we better get back to work, Bill. Yeah, we've got lots of work to do. It's just us doing everything around here. Percy chuckled and left with the mail train. Soon, Percy arrived at the junction to see Thomas coming in with his last train. Hey, Percy. Hey, Thomas. Running a bit late, aren't we? It's all this stupid snow. Clarabelle was almost knocked right off the track. I wish Dustin could clear all the track. Me too. Then I won't have to wear this stupid snow plow. Ooh, there's my whistle. See you later, Thomas. Wait, Percy? But Percy was already too far away. The next morning, Percy had to take coal cars to Brendam Docks and then travel all the way back to the yard with a shipment of decorations. While Percy was making his way back to the yard, Dustin arrived from clearing the tracks. He was covered all over in thick white snow. Ben, look, it's the abominable snowplow. No, 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 don't, don't please don't. don't. Oh, we don't want any Thanks, Hugo. Bill, look! It's Dustin! So there was no abominable snowplow. What? Uh, no! Of course not! Who told you that? Percy did. Percy was just pulling your wheels. I think he was cross with you for playing tricks on him the other day. Yeah, well, now he's knocked me off the rails. Well, I'm sure Percy never meant to do it. What did I never mean to do? This? Well, I, well, of course not. I was just tricking you back. Oh. Well, now I'm on my own because of you. I certainly never meant for this to happen. I would hope not. My wheels have been smashed to smithereens. I'll take you to the Steamworks, Ben. Victor will surely be able to do something for you. Well, thanks, Percy. Of course. I'm really sorry this happened. Oh, it's all right. Hopefully I'll be finished before Christmas. Ben was loaded onto a flatbed 
and Percy took him away. What's up, Percy? I caused Ben to have an accident, and he might be out of commission until after Christmas. Well, was it your fault? Well, not entirely. I just told them Dustin was really the abominable snowplow roaming around looking for naughty engines. They got scared and Bill knocked Ben right off the tracks. Oh dear. Well, maybe you can bring Ben the parts he needs. All he needs are some nice new wheels and he'll be good to go. Oh, maybe you could find some red wheels like Bill's new wheels. Good idea, Thomas. We can drop them off when we take the presents train. We're taking the presents train? Yes, I've been trying to tell you for almost a week now. Oh, sorry, Thomas. I should have listened better. <laughs> it's all right. We better get some rest. I know Cranky will not be happy if we're late. You're absolutely right. Snow's in the fuel cache tomorrow. Thomas, you'll need your snow plow. Oh, botheration. What's that, Chomish? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Goodbye, you two. Bye, sir. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a salty new year. Ah. Oh, give me strife. I think it's nice, the little diesels in the Christmas spirit. Don't encourage him. Oh, stupid plow. Is there an issue, Thomas? This snowplow is so uncomfortable. I wish I didn't have to wear it. Sir Topham Hatt just wants to keep you safe. Even I am to be fitted with one soon. I suppose we all have to stay safe in the winter months. Exactly, Thomas. Now be careful. The snow could get too deep for even your plow. We'll do our best, but little engines can do big things. Right you are, Thomas. Alright, now that the peanut gallery has finished, you better get a move on. Come on, Percy. Let's go. The roller, coaster, the polar, express. Ay ay ay! What's all the yelling? Oh, sorry, Victor. We, we were having a little too much fun singing carols. What are you doing here, Percy? I came to apologize and bring you something. What? The last part you need. Wheels! And they're red too! Oh, thank you, Percy. You are a good engine. Just doing what needs to be done. Thank you, Percy. I think you made the Ben's day. Percy always says Christmas is a time for goodwill towards all people and engines. Well then, you better get moving if you want to deliver the rest of those presents. Oh dear, the storm is getting worse. Come on, Percy. Thomas and Percy left in a hurry. They could barely see, but they carried on. They puffed into the tunnel just outside Knapford. But then there was trouble. Cinders and ashes! Oh no! I'm derailed! I'll go back and get some help. Oh no! We're, we're trapped! Thomas's driver called Sir Topham Hatt and told him the situation. John Woody, Jao Shen General Juglish and Justin to help you. Thomas's and Percy's fires were dropped so that they could conserve coal until help arrived. It's very important that you find Chomish and Percy as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Uh, Bill, Johnny Jew to take hot cinders and kill. But, sir... You arguing. Yes, sir. What's up, Bill? Percy sends my brother to the Steamworks. Why should I help him? Because if you don't, then how would your brother get through the block tunnel? Bill coupled to the cars and left faster than Dustin could even process what had just happened. Thomas and Percy were starting to get very cold. I'm going to, to turn into an icicle pretty soon. 
Speak for yourself. I think I already am one. Help is on the way, old chaps. Thank you, Harold. Just don't blow the snow back into the tunnel. Oh, yes. Sorry about that. Help has arrived. Uh, ooh, but there's one problem. What's wrong? This snowdrift is bigger than I expected. What do you mean? Well, I can't see you. And uh, I don't think you can see me. We'd better get working, eh? It took longer than expected, but as night fell, the tunnel entrance was opened up. Thank you, guys. The only problem is neither of us have enough coal to get our fire started and then get home. I we've thought of that. Bill, you came to help too. Thank you. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for Ben. But Ben will be coming home. I would be if the tunnel wasn't blocked at the other end. Ben! Come on, Googie. Let's finish the job. This reunion is nice, but I could really use a burning fire. Oh. Soon Thomas and Percy had full bunkers and roaring fires. Bill and Ben were happy to be reunited, and soon the cavalcade was headed back to the yard. Well, John Cheam, I'm glad you're all back safely. Yes, sir. And we even picked up someone on the way. Ja, yes. Welcome back, Ben. Ja, I hope you're ready to get back to work. That's right, sir. Good. Well done, everyone. See you all tomorrow. I'm going back to the shed. You coming, Percy? I will. Okay, see you later. Look, I just wanted to... Percy, it's all okay. I'm sorry for getting upset. I'm just glad to have my twin back. Me too. Well, that's great. I'm glad you two will get to spend Christmas together. And it's thanks to you that we are finally real twins again. <laughs> yeah, the new wheels look great. Thanks, Percy. I can't wait to get back to work. Well, I'm sure there will be plenty of work for you tomorrow. Now... I've got to pull the mail. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Percy. Night, Percy. Night, guys. Bill and Ben were very happy. They were finally back together. It was going to be a good Christmas. going stop there was a boat on the rails he needs my help philip boats go in the water not on the rails you must have been dreaming try to get back to sleep oh yes just a dream good now good night good night
It's good to be back after the overhaul. Edward! Something very bad just happened. What? Oh dear.